been around for a long time. So, how, <laughs> how long have you been a Christian, Eric? Over 30 years. <laughs> That's Over a long time, years. isn't it? It is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so, long time. can I ask you then, Eric, when you became a Christian, what do you think changed the most for you? What was the outstanding thing for you in becoming a Christian as before and after? I think, if I had to say one thing, it, it was my heart that changed. Um, I started to um, change my attitude towards, over a period of time, towards everything, really. Uh, people, uh, my own self, my behaviour, uh, and just started to grow in areas in me, in my life and in my heart, which, to be honest with you, I'd, I hadn't really paid any attention to. So I started to feel things in my heart towards um, how I treated people, how I felt towards people. Um, things began to matter to me that didn't, uh, that didn't matter before became the most important things to me. Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? And I would probably quite agree with that. He's got a lovely heart. But Eric, I think he's been in competition with my brain, and I think they're like, who can be the illest? You're, you're the winner, Brian, I think. <laughs> oh, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> like last year, this year, Debbie has given nightmares, haven't they? Both of them. Yeah, they're both nightmares. <laughs> and... When we, well, lots of us did pray for yourself, as you probably know. Um, tell us something about what happened this year. Um, what, what, what was the illness you had and explain how it affected you? Well, um, to cut a, long, a long, very long story short, uh, it's, a, it's a funny thing. I was just going to say, just to start with, that uh, before I got up this morning, I was laying in bed and uh, just talking to the Lord. And I just felt to say that in everybody's life, you know, there is always a, a time when darkness seems to surround you. You know, things seem to close in on you. You have problems, whether it's your health or other things happening to you. And it almost seems overwhelming at times. And... Uh, I use the word darkness in particular because the Lord just brought it to me this morning that, you know, light always dispels darkness. And the Lord has called us the light of the world. That's what he's called us. And he is the light. And we're the light of the world because we carry that light. And in the situation that <clears throat> I found myself in over the last two or three months, um... And especially looking back now, I was able to, the Lord allowed me to carry that light, his light, into the situations and the places where I was. And um, I believe and pray that, uh, you know, I was able to be made of some service to him. Uh, about three months ago, I started with um, some symptoms of uh, feeling weak to start with. And then uh, I started to lose my balance. Um, I started having pins and needles in my arms and my, my hands and my, my legs and my feet. And then it got to the point where uh, I couldn't stand up on my own. Uh, so uh, I was in a bit of a bad way and uh, went to the hospital as you do. Ended up in uh, Victoria for five days and nights. And then from there, as I said, I'll cut a long story short. From there, I, I was moved on to Preston <clears throat> Royal Hospital for another, I think it was four weeks, five weeks. And then from there, um, praise God, to the rehab uh, for another four or five weeks. Uh, and... Um, as, I, as you see, I'm sat here uh, today. Uh, I was given a very, I was given a very poor uh, diagnosis of what was uh, taking place with me to do with uh, 
my nerves, the, the nerves in my body being attacked uh, by my own body, uh, which was causing what the problem was. Uh, and at one time, things looked pretty bleak. But on and on and on, the Lord was the lifter of my head. He uh, spoke to me in my, own, in my own perception, in my own way. I talked to him a lot. I asked him a lot of things. I prayed a lot. And every time the Lord was faithful to answer, answer me prayers, spoke to me. One of the most, <laughs> one of the most marvelous things the Lord did was not just uh, for me, but also for my family. We, um, we, I suppose we were going through a period uh, before I took ill where uh, we were just getting on with our lives, following the Lord in the best way that you know how. We all do the same thing. But I can honestly say that God does turn everything for good for them that love the Lord and are called to his purpose. And you wouldn't think, if you didn't know God, that you wouldn't think that a period in your life w that was so dark and so testing could produce anything good at, at some point in that when, you, when you're going through it, especially for your family who go through things with you. But through this situation that we've been through, the, the Lord brought my whole family together in prayer, in the Lord, he increased our faith, he encouraged us, he built us up, and he blessed us mightily, time after time after time, in so many different ways, uh, and that on its own is, is a massive testimony to what God uh, did, besides any other things that went on. That's just amazing, isn't it? And at the beginning, Eric just described there going through a dark place, but look what happened. Amazing. And I, I've seen people with the disease that uh, Eric had and taking years to get to where he is now. He's done absolutely amazing. God's hand upon somebody is, is, is just so when you're in that dark place, whether it's just in your mind, whether it's illness, whatever, God always comes through. And just to I am great testimony, Eric. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. We say yes, I saw.